Our coverage on the schools turns now to local 10 news reporter Parker Branton. Yeah, he's in Miami Gardens. Parker, how are things out there? Well, Alexis, we've seen it all this morning. School buses pushing through water to pick up students and also spots here like Lake Stevens Elementary and Middle School, which is practically living up to its name today, almost looking like a lake. This is one of the spots that is on online only today. School is back in session after heavy rain moved through South Florida. Lake Stevens Middle and Elementary in Miami Gardens still dealing with flooding surrounding school grounds. School buses were seen plowing through water in some neighborhoods to pick students up. Monday, classrooms were closed in Miami-Dade County. Tuesday, learning resumed. But 17 schools, with Joella C. Good Elementary added to the list, shifted to online only after community flooding was seen at numerous locations. Sky 10 flew over a water-invaded American Senior High School in Hialeah. At private Dade Christian School in Northwest Miami-Dade, athletic fields are flooded. And there won't be recess anytime soon at Charles Weish in Miami Gardens, where the playground is underwater. The cleanup process for so many just getting started. And what you're taking a live look at right now is one of the drains outside here near one of the streets outside of the Lake Stevens Elementary and Middle School. You can see water kind of starting to circulate and clear out on this road. It does look a little clogged, though, as much of these streets are with all of the debris and other things that have gotten into the system. Now, as to when these schools will resume in-person classes, well, no word on that just yet.